गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो होपफुली मीटिंग यू आर आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो इन दिस वीडियो वे गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू एड साइटेशन एंड रेफरेंस यूजिंग हार्वर्ड रेफरेंसिंग सिस्टम इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो लेट मी शो यू हाउ टू डू इट इन अ ईजिएस्ट एंड द सिंपलेस्ट वे सो हियर आई हैव गिवन अ पैराग्राफ ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द सॉस आई हैव टेकन सो द टाइप ऑफ सॉस दैट आई बीन यूजिंग इज अ वेबसाइट लेट मी शो यू द वेबसाइट This is the website I've been using. So make sure when you are taking a website as a source, you should have some relevant information like the author's name, the date, as well as the time that it has been published. So these are the relevant information that needs to be there when you are taking references from a website. So now let me show you how to add citation. In the references tab, you'll have to search for the citations and bibliography field. in the citations and bibliography field make sure you select the type or the style that you need because for your document the citation style is very important in my case i'm going to use harvard you all can use whatever the style you all need it doesn't matter once after clicking and selecting the style you'll have to select the insert citation option here and you all can see there are two more options given add new source or add new placeholder so since we are going to create a source we have to click add new source and then the window is appearing like this so there are some information to be filled the type of the source they actually ask what type of source you have been referenced from now in my case it's a website but in your case it can be a book a journal article a report even a document from a website it doesn't matter it depends on the type of source you all are referencing from so in my case it's a website so i'm going to click website and then the author's name so you all can see some of the examples are given here the name should be something like this unlike a numerical letter a numerical number so make sure to have a alphabetical word letter okay so let's go for the website in the website you can see the author's name that they have been given is id tech so this is the author's name that is why i told you you all should have relevant information in the website that you all are referencing for so just copy and paste it here and then the name of the web page once again go back to the website and you can see here this is the website's name the web page so that is the the five different parts of a computer taking a look under the hood just copy and paste it the year the year the web page has been published it's 2019 copy and paste it the year accessed and the year that we have written before is a bit uh, different the reason is year access is the year that you have taken the source from so that is basically 2021 the month is also the same so it's going to be may the day access is the day that you are citating from so maybe uh, for me it's 10 you all can uh, it depends on you the url is the web page url so just copy and paste it here now you all can see the relevant information is filled when creating a source when simply clicking okay you can see the citation is created here with your author's name and also with the year that it has been published so now our next step is to add bibliography in the same references tab in the citations and bibliography field you can see there is an option called bibliography where you all have to list all your sources in this place so click this option when you click this you get three more options but just simply click the first one to add the bibliography now you can see the bibliography is displayed in harvard referencing format well this is how you have to add citation and bibliography in a word document for your assignments for your reports or whatever the information that you all have taken from i hope the video is useful and it's clear so if you guys having many doubts or questions related to this video just simply put them down in the comment section thank you for watching stay safe